Jay-Z and Beyonce are one of the most influential celebrity couples, but according to Jay-Z... We were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. They're celebrities, all right. Jay-Z is worth over a billion dollars, while Queen V is worth almost half a billion dollars. And this is all a result of their success and hard work, becoming two of the best and most awarded musicians of all time. And beyond Beyonce's vocals and Jay-Z's punchlines, business ventures have been great for them as well. So speaking of lines, most people want this power couple as close as possible to the dotted lines on their papers. And in this video, we'll be talking about some of their most exquisite properties that they've signed off millions of dollars on. Number 3. La Casa de Castilla, $4.45 million. I know what you're thinking when you hear La Casa de Castilla, but no. The Netflix show that garnered so many worshippers is not related to this. And speaking of worshippers, the Carters also have their fair share as well. So it's only natural that they buy a church for themselves, right? Right. No, this is not a drill. Your favorite couple did purchase this church turned estate for an undisclosed amount in 2015. However, the property was listed by the former owner, Sandra McNamara at an asking price of $2.6 million. Today, the property has seen its value increase to about $4.45 million. The home stands on a lot of around 9,000 square feet and covers an area of well over 13,000 square feet with seven bedrooms and eight baths. This Baroque-style New Orleans mansion has retained much of its old structures while also being heavily renovated to suit today's standards. It still has moldings, church pews, columns, and hardwood floors from its church days. Also, La Casa de Castile has a great room with hardwood floors, standing at 26 feet, converted from what used to be the church's sanctuary. This church was built in 1927, converted to a ballet school, then redesigned into a house sometime around the year 2000. Today, it has amazing features like the kitchen that's outfitted with granite countertops and top-tier Viking appliances. There's also a library with built-in bookshelves, a crimson wall dining area, an executive office, and a loft-like seating area. The owner's bedroom is a grand suite, located with its own walk-in closet, bathroom with a clawfoot tub, and private sitting room. The building is close to the famous St. Charles Avenue, and looking from outside towards this beautiful building, you can see the huge three-arched windows, a churigaresque crown, and a rooftop garden. Number 2. Hamptons Retreat – $25.9 million After the purchase of their most expensive condo, which we will soon talk about, Beyonce and Jay-Z got an absolute steal with the purchase of this coastal town estate in September of 2017. This property is located in the Hamptons, the coastal region of East Hampton. Hampton, New York, and it's a hot spot for celebrities. The home serves as a holiday retreat for the Carter family and has a lot going for it as probably the best property in their real estate portfolio. The property is known as Pond House and had been on the market for almost a decade before the couple purchased it. Prior to that, it has a rich history. It was designed over a century ago by Stanford White and has since undergone renovations. Most notably, Jeffrey Collet revamped the property into its new look over a period of two years. One significant part of Colet's renovations is that he rotated the entire property a full 90 degrees just so the living room could get great views. That's just an example of the level of detailing that went into upping the luxury in this home without tweaking the blueprint, something Jay-Z would be proud of. The house spans a total of around 12,000 square feet with five bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms. In addition, there's an 1,800 square foot guest house with two bedrooms and one bath. Aptly named, Pond House gives the family views of a 200-foot pond frontage and a 17-and-a-half-acre nature preserve that the property shares borders with within the home. Radiant heated floors, geothermal air conditioning, and a thorough home automation system accompany the classic Hamptons architecture and expert craftsmanship. When we say Hamptons architecture and artisanal craftsmanship, we're talking of things like bespoke French chalk finishings on quarter sawn white oak paneling, 18th century museum quality, Louis XV carved firestone places, hand-pegged parquet de Versailles floorboards installed by French architects artisans, and single marble blocks carved into bathtubs by Italian craftsmen. The bathtubs are made together with hand-carved heated limestone and are present in patina matched bathrooms. And if all that flew over your head, then you'll agree with me that this is a house of luxury. After all, it does take a lot to purchase handcrafted items and products, like the front door for example. It's accented with handcrafted diamond pane leaded glass windows. Ladies and gentlemen, slamming this door in someone's face might literally be the most costly thing you do. But why would you slam 
slam the door. Once you open it, it leads into the double height foyer, which then leads into the majestic 30-foot high living room with a coffered ceiling, a two-story wall of windows, and French doors. The second floor has a gallery with two fireplaces and matching antique mantelpieces. There's a dining room and library fitted with antique black walnut paneling. But nothing beats the vibe of the great room with its floor-to-ceiling French doors and massive carved stone fireplace. There's a home theater on the third floor, as well as the children's playroom and fitness studio. In the 4,000 square foot basement with 10 foot high ceilings, you'll find a large laundry room and a three car garage. The main building also has a guest bedroom on the main floor. Meanwhile, on the upper floor, there are two more ensuite family bedrooms as well as a junior master bedroom with a private sitting room and walk-in closet. The main master suite can be found on a separate wing of the upper floor with an office, an antique fireplace, two walk-in closets, a dry sauna, a paneled bathroom with his and hers areas, and a white oak clad vaulted ceiling. The mansion has a screened porch with a brick fireplace as a cozy spot, another spa, and a 45-foot-long Infinity Edge swimming pool. From the edge of the pool, you can view the lawn slopes that gently lead to the pond's edge below. Number 1. Bel Air Estate $88 million If you've seen the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you know that Bel Air is a community that's truly for the upper class in American society. In the show, we can see that Will's cousins are shielded from the realities of life in America until they meet Will himself. And why wouldn't they? The neighborhood is peaceful, and most people here have everything they need in their mansions, so everyone minds their business. A good look at Carter's $88 million estate will highlight the kinds of luxuries that caused this paradigm shift in the Bel Air community. The estate covers around 30,000 square feet, spread across six different buildings with eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. To highlight the level of class associated with this estate, the designers are Paul McLean and Dean McKillen, Dean being the heir to the billion-dollar fortune of the property developer, Patty McKillen. From the compound, one can view the six buildings walled with floor-to-ceiling glass panels and designed with steel and exquisite marbled limestone. The main residence, which is a three-story complex, also has the same floor-to-ceiling bulletproof glass wall design. Inside, there are several rooms with unique kitchen, dining, and bathroom additions. Another notable feature is the staircase that is entirely sculpted from dark wood and fitted with Italian limestone, giving the space a dramatic effect. The estate and its two-acre garden is littered with expansive patios, sunbathing decks, four swimming pools, a full basketball court, a spa, a media room, a 15-vehicle garage, and a standalone staff quarters, which means that the entire home is taken care of by paid staff. Growing up in this estate means that you may never have to hear your mom shout, clean your room, or wash the dishes, and that's a shame. Just imagine Beyonce shouting those words at you in her three to three and a half octave vocal range as she breaks some moves with her dance crew. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Queen Bee, she seems to be loving it in this estate as she posts several pictures on Instagram, like this one on the court or this room that's chock full of shoes. The Carters are living it up, and the fact that this is only the sixth most expensive single-family property in the entire LA County is even crazier when you realize they only paid 65% of the $120 million asking price that was initially slapped on the property. With it comes a level of comfort that even regular millionaire homes cannot afford, and the bulletproof glass walls, the state-of-the-art automated security system and the massive metal gates mean that these legends and their family can feel connected to the outside and still enjoy the feeling of privacy and safety. And that sums it up for our tour of the Carter's most exquisite real estate properties. Baroque-style church houses, coastal holiday properties with a palatial setup, and a hilltop fortress designed by billionaires in the most privileged areas in America to live in. Ladies and gents, only the Carters can have those. Which was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, Video, make sure to leave us a like. You can check out the King Luxury channel for more videos all about luxury. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.